Going well, back today with a much better screwdriver and I was able to get that screw loose and then I started banging out this stud and what ended up happening was this actual uh, jib ended up cracking, which is just fine. So now this is loose. You can actually rock it. So it's just basically precariously perched on that. So I think if I lift up on it with the loader, I could pull it away. All right, so we're getting ready to take the knee off. So I'm gonna take this handle off so it doesn't get broken. I've already loosened this nut. And that's the uh, knee elevation handle, a vertical elevation handle. Time to try and remove the knee. Now I could just push the knee off and let it fall to the ground because I, I'm not trying to salvage the saddle or the knee itself. But I am trying to get some gears out of the inside of there. And then also, in case somebody needs one, I'd hate to bend this shaft or that shaft. So I'm gonna try and avoid dropping it because Sure enough, it's going to want to fall forward on those, on one or both of those shafts and bend them. So, what I'm going to do is, I got the loader up close to the door again. I got a couple of straps there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a strap to the rear and around that post. And that will let me, hopefully, um, pull straight up on the knee some to see if it'll come off of the pin. Well... That ratcheting strap is not going to be anywhere near strong enough to lift upward on this knee and saddle assembly. It's quite a, quite a bit of weight there. So what I've done now is I've added a chain. I've hooked the chain on to the knee. I'm going to take some slack out of these straps. And I'm going to use the loader and pull and see what happens. Okay, folks, here goes nothing. Whole machine just spun. Swiveling too easily on those rollers. I'll try a little more. Looks like that bottom just popped out. There we go. I think if I lower it down so that it's touching the ground, then I might be able to uh, undo that strap. Eh, I can't lower it down far enough, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reattach my other two straps towards the rear and then uh, let that other strap loose. Now, I've got these two straps out, but that's still going to want to swing down and back towards the loader. So I'm going to get a push stick board here and I'm going to slip this off, this strap right off of here and that way I'm safely out of the way when that thing swings, especially if the strap snaps. I forgot about that bolt in the end of the... Ah! Well, if I had taken that bolt out, I'd be all set, but I forgot it in there, and now the strap's stuck on it, so I have to lift up with the loader.
and it's off. Well, I got the knee and the saddle assembly out of the way and I flipped that over and it's upside down on a trailer I have so I can get to the bottom of those gears really easily. I took a quick look. It still isn't obvious to me how it comes apart but I'm gonna, not going to worry about that for now. Uh, I think what I want to do now is I want to move this out since it slid forward now far enough that I won't be able to shut that door. I'm pretty much committed to either pushing it back in or pulling it all the way out. I think I'll go with pulling it all the way out. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, find a way to hook on to this thing to get the front end to lift up a little bit and get one of those pipe rollers underneath the front there. All right, what I do is I pulled this post out pretty far and then I locked it with the locking bolt and now hopefully with that strap on there, even though it's not at the proper lifting angle, uh, hopefully when I raise the bucket I'll be able to tilt the front end up. I should have realized that was going to be too much uh, for that strap. Alright, let's try with the chain on it. I just got hooked on that bolt. Hopefully that will hold. I'm not trying to lift the whole machine up. Well, that ain't working. It is lifting the whole machine up, but it's lifting the back of the machine up. That's not what I want. Alright, so I moved those pipes up closer to the front. Maybe now I can get it to rock backwards. Okay, so now I got a pipe under the front. If I pull on it, I should want to move forward a little bit. I think what I'll do now is I'll uh, take this hook off up, up here and lower the bucket down closer to the ground and loop it around that. Now the tricky part's going to be backing up real slow. Well, it's out. A couple of heart skipping moments, heartbeat skipping moments there when it first popped off that shelf there. It rocked forward and I thought it was going to fall. Although all I was going to do is probably hit the loader. But I got it out. Now I get the loader up over the top of it, I can lift off that motor. Actually, I think the next thing I want to do is take this big post out. Alright, getting this big post out, just a matter of making a sling, supporting it at both ends and pushing it out the back. Well, that would have worked, except for the fact that that thing's so greasy, it's slicker than grease crap. It slipped right through.